to Jane. To Jane. <laughs> to Jane. To Jane. <laughs> oh, there they are. Oh. Oh my. Oh my. Woo! Y'all showing up at one time. I was having a hard time going live, sitting here and wondering if I did the wrong thing. Good to see you guys tonight. How are you? Ain't nobody got their video on. Can't see none of y'all's beautiful faces. I bet Rona has hers on. Do you think she does? No. Oh, look there. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Rona. Get your video on. Hey, you're home. Yes. So good. Awesome. Yeah. First day home. <laughs> Having a good sleep and relaxing day today. <laughs> good. That's first, good. First day home. I wasn't thinking that she would be wearing that on the ship. No. No. <laughs> like, no, oh, she gets to wear her normal clothes right now. Cool. Yeah. It's lovely and sunny and hot. And yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah. very, very good. We got some more people coming on here. We're going to give it just a second. It's hot here too. It's been what? 90 to 100 degrees like oh. every, for a couple weeks about 95. yeah, yeah oh, wow. week, so dawn your hair looks so cute i love it <laughs> thank you <laughs> very very cute but you got some thick hair girlfriend it looks like it <laughs> yeah i have such thin hair i braid my hair it's just like these little tiny <laughs> i kind of pulled it out a bit so Did it you cute like that i love it it's really really cute thanks well we got some people on here we'll probably have more show up in a minute but guys i wanted to discuss this because um you know when we start this program some people just really get overwhelmed and it seems so hard and i want to talk about it real quick and then we'll go definitely i want you guys to share your simple tips or your simple foods that you go to ways that you make your workout simple, whatever it is having to do with this whole entire process, okay? Let's just talk about it. Maybe how you plan your meals or maybe you don't plan your meals, how you make it simple. Um, let's talk about all of that tonight. I think it's gonna be really helpful to each other. We're gonna learn from each other tonight. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. So um, the thing I wanna tell you guys is to make this a lifestyle, most of us can't put hours a week into just planning our food in the kitchen you know we're not those kind of women anymore back in the day my grandmother and them they'd stay in the kitchen you know and that's what they did but we're modern women it's a lot different for us we have jobs we have grown children some of us are even in our 50s and have children still at home and i uh, had kids late in life all different kinds of things so we have to make this thing sustainable for us. So if everything is so complicated and there's so much to do, we are not going to last long. And I know that. So we have to make this something that is very as simple as possible. We have to dumb it down, right? Dumb it down. And today I said, I'm going to go grab me a uh, lunch meat sandwich before I come on here. So listen, doesn't that sound crazy? But boar, I mean, there's some good lunch meat out there anymore. There's like boar's head, it has no nitrates in it. And that's rather expensive, but there's other lunch meat with not with no nitrates. Put that on a sandwich, on some bread, like Ezekiel bread, throw some mustard on there. I love it. And I'm like, oh, sandwich, boom, done. <laughs> you know, bowl of cereal, that sounds crazy, but sometimes I can fit a bowl of Cheerios into my diet. I really can, I'll have the calories. If we're only sticking to protein and calories, sometimes I can fit that in there, you know? Um, and so I want to talk to you guys about making this as simple as possible. I found that the people who make this simple are the people who succeed. So we are, you know, we talk about rules, 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 rules. Well, Allie, can I eat this? Allie, can I eat that? Allie, can I eat this? Yeah, you can eat it all. 
as long as it falls into this, fits in your calories and fit, and you can get your protein in and your fiber, then you can have it. If you can get your protein, fiber, and calories in for the day, yes. Now there's times we have to clean up a diet. If we're having trouble losing weight, a lot of times I'll look at the food you're eating and I'll be like, okay, you know, we got to clean it up. You're eating too much processed food. I had a lady that came on and she was losing weight really fast in the beginning and then it slowed down and then we couldn't hardly get her to lose any more weight. She said, I'm eating really healthy. I looked at her food and 90% of it was probably processed. So it was things like, not sounding real bad, like not Doritos and the Oreos, right? But it was things like fit and crack, a lot of crackers in there, just things that were processed. And when we are at menopause age, it makes us want to hold on to weight because there's preservatives in there and our body doesn't know how to break those down. And what happens is our body stores them in fat cells. It's like, oh, I'll deal with that later. And see, then when we diet, do you know that we are actually purging our fat cells of these toxins that we have eaten? So when we diet, it is a very good uh, practice to eat as healthy as possible, right? But there are some days where I'm going to fit some M&Ms into my diet. I am. I got those little 90 calorie M&M fun packs. They're not something that's my trigger. I don't, it's not something I have to go have, you know, now if I had Lay's potato chips, it would be all over. I couldn't do it. So I can't buy Lay's potato chips, but Hey, I have some M&Ms, you know, and if I'm a little low on calories and I've got my protein in and my fiber's okay, I'm going to have some M&Ms. So I wanted to talk to you guys about that today, making this whole process as simple as possible from workouts to food uh, to actually even submitting things to me. So here's what I'd like you to do to submit things nightly to me. We are going to go back to something and Wade didn't know this, but I've been doing with client. I started doing with clients again. I want you guys to, instead of submitting on the online nightly thing, I want you all to text me your macros, your nutrients, and your calories from my fitness pal you just take it it'll be so easy you'll take three screenshots out boom done done you don't have to say nothing else boom done i'll see him i'm gonna try to look over my night sometimes it might be the next day and i will look over these and that way you and i are kind of in touch every single day and i'll say hey don get your protein up hey don get your fiber up hey rona you know how'd your workout go? How's your water doing? Those kind of things. I'm not really focusing right now on your fats and carbs. Let's keep it simple. Okay. I want you to succeed. Fats and carbs don't matter too much right now. You came on to lose weight. Let's get calories right. Let's get protein right. And let's get fiber right. Okay. And let's get our workouts and our water. Five things we've got to do. What is it? Number one, Say it again. Calories, 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 number one, most important. Get within 100 of your calories. Number two, protein. Get your protein in. Let's, let's keep it simple. Number three, fiber. Fiber, fiber, fiber. Get it in. Number four, water. And number five, workouts. That's all we got to focus on. So let's make it easy, okay? screenshot these i'm going to put up in the private facebook group the facebook uh the bod garage monthly i'm going to put up in there the screenshots i want every one of you to send to me each night let's make this simple Hello, okay i'm going to do it until i can't do it anymore. i'm gonna do it <laughs> so i got into this where it was i did it for hours each night and we changed it and so, but I want to go into this for a period of time, okay? Especially with clients that are new. But I want to see all of you do this for a while. We've all had vacations. We've been doing all these things. And what I want to do is just really focus on everybody getting back on track, okay? So Roxanne, nightly, text me your macros, okay? At, we're going to text three screenshots. I'm going to put it inside the Bod Garage monthly. What I need everybody to send me every night. 
Okay, so the, we're gonna just make it simple. No online check-ins every night. You don't have to go type all your numbers in. Let's just boom, 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 done, okay? So this is about simplicity tonight, and I want you to focus on, one more time, I want you guys to get this in your brain. I don't care about your carbs. I don't care about your fats. What do we care about? Calories, protein, mm. fiber, mm. water, workouts, and text Allie every night. You got to have your coaching calls once a week. I need to hear from you once a week. Your calories are set, but they don't stay there, ladies. Some of you think it's one and done. You are not one and done, okay? There's things that come up. We have to raise your calories at a certain point and you'll still lose weight. How cool is that? So just hold on. Keep talking to me every week. It keeps your mind in the game. So let's talk about simplicity, things you do that are simple. Just like I said, I made myself two pieces of, of bread, put some lunch meat on it, stuck some mustard on it, uh, and I just ate it. Now, it wasn't tonight. It was the other day. But I was just like, I can do this. Anybody can do this. I'm not going to do it on a regular basis. But I had no time to do anything else. And so, you know, we all talk about managing our time. This is a way to just go, I did it. I made a good choice because I did the best with the meat I could get. I had boar's head. I, I still did it. I still did my best. And there's been times that it wasn't quite my best, but it still fit into my diet. And I just had to do it because I didn't want to have an excuse to just kind of go off and just fail. Right. And so diet is always it's not going to be perfect uh, before we go into this one more thing i want to tell you and i've taken up a long time but your diet if you ask me if something's allowed yes it's allowed as long as it fits right as long as it fits try to clean up your diet but here's the thing if you're so strict for so long which i can be which is good and i want you to be healthy but if you're so strict for so long what happens is you're fine for a while and then all of a sudden you're done. You're just done. I've been there and I've done it. I'm strong with it. You guys are strong. You, you stay consistent. You don't eat a piece of cake. You don't eat an M&M. You don't eat an Oreo cookie. All you have is your one cheat meal and you are just to the point of I'm burned out. I'm done. Okay. So I don't want to get there. I want you to find a balance. There's balance in all this balance. I was telling somebody the other day, there are no real hard rules other than the five I just gave you. I, I want you to stick to those five and check it in with me, but there are really no hard rules. I want you guys, there's going to be times when maybe that does have to change in your journey. If weight loss doesn't happen or you're not losing that middle weight. There's going to be times we have to really look at it and go, oh, you know what? We need to clean this up, Virginia. You know, we got to straighten this up. But other than that, ladies, I want you to take a, a, a breath of air and I want you to find peace in it. And I want you to find joy in the journey because if it's so freaking stressful and so hard and so complicated, it's not going to be a lifestyle for us. It's going to be something we dread and we want to be done with. And then when you leave our program, guess what happens? You revert to old habits and you get the weight back and it's not good. We've got to find balance. Your balance is going to look different than my balance. It doesn't make it wrong. It doesn't make me wrong. It does not make you wrong. Okay. So now that I've said all that, taken up half of our time, I hope that you know that that is really important. Now I want to hear from you. What are things that you have done that you have found to be really simple that have helped you along the way? We want to hear from you. So when you go to talk, just make sure your mic is unmuted. Just go ahead and whoever wants to talk, speak up. I like to food prep in advance. And so I've been trying some different things with that. Um, 
I, I bought a big frozen bag of chicken breasts the other night. It's like six pounds and I threw it in the crock pot overnight. Um, and then the next morning I used my mixer, my cake mixer to just mix it all up. It basically pulls it apart and makes it like a barbecue kind of texture. Um, and then it's really easy to sort of portion out and, uh, you know, I do like six ounces or whatever and, and, and then portion out the rest of the stuff with it. Good job. That's very good. Yeah. That's a great idea. I never thought about doing that. Very, very good job. Thanks. Yeah. Do you put it in frozen into the slow cooker or do you thaw it first? Yes. No, I throw it in frozen. So oh, I get okay. like a big six pound bag from Kroger and yeah. um, I get one of those uh, crock pot um, liners and I just throw the frozen stuff in there and put it on 10 hours overnight in the morning I get up and, and it's good to go. And what, and what do you put in with it? Do you put in like tomatoes, onions, that kind of stuff, or just yeah. on its own? Bit of water? I put like four cups of water in there and that's it. Um, just because I'm trying to, I'm just trying to keep it as simple as possible. So I do those. And then I have these little glass compartments that are glass um, containers and I'll put six ounces of chicken breast and then like a quarter cup of rice and then broccoli in the, in the other okay. one. Yeah, because I used to do uh, like uh, chicken broth, and so then then I throw a full chicken in, and then when I then you know I do my broths, and then I pull all the meat off the chicken. But that's another good way of doing that. Do you do anything with? I, well, never mind. Yeah, cool. Thanks. I'm gonna try that because <laughs> yeah. I have a slow cooker, so yeah, I can just do that overnight. Great. Thanks. You're welcome. Holly, I have something that I've been doing. Uh, the, the, your topic spoke to me about the need for simplicity because I've been feeling that myself. And it's, I, 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 I just, I have a mantra that I've been saying to myself and I've just keep saying to myself, joy and ease. I, I am, I hit my macros with joy and ease. I eat healthfully with joy and ease. And so when I walk in the kitchen, I haven't been having the time to do meal prep and meal planning the way I like to, the way I like to do it. It takes hours. I spend my whole Sunday doing it. I'm, gro I'm meal planning and then grocery shopping and then meal prepping. And it is the whole day, but you know, it's always been a little bit of an Achilles heel that when things get busy, then that whole thing goes to hell in a handbasket. <laughs> so I've been trying to just do a, a good job of keeping easy stuff in the house and so then I, I just keep saying that to myself so when I walk in the kitchen rather than having my deer in the headlights oh no I don't know what to do I'm like no 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 wait this is simple and uh, that was actually exactly what I was a little bit late I was getting I was warming up a frozen it's a high protein vegetable burger from the freezer and putting it in a little high high fiber, low carb wrap and some lettuce and tomatoes and calling it a day. Oh, I got pickles too. But like, just, so I just keep saying that to myself and I find, you know what? It actually just kind of works because it puts my mind on the simplicity. It puts my mind on keeping myself in a kind of a, a happy frame of mind. I'm like, oh, when I, when I, when I do this, I'm getting closer and closer and closer to my goal. Yeah, I can do this. It's okay. So it's uh, just a little mantra, I guess. Yes, yeah, so good. So good. Dawn, the thing where you talked about the, the insert, the tray insert. You know, you don't even got to clean up. you just, boom, throwing it away. <laughs> nice. You got to do that stuff sometimes. You do. And another thing I do is the, the juice that's left over. It sort of makes its own broth. And so I keep that and through the week, you know, chicken gets really dry no matter what you do to it. So when I go to heat it up, I just pour a little bit of that juice and that broth in there when I heat it up. Good, good idea. Very good. Rhonda, do you have something? Yeah, actually, I found that in the evening, if I haven't gotten all my protein in, I'll just go to the refrigerator and get Greek yogurt 
And then I'll add the, um, I believe it's Maple Farms. It's sugar-free, but it's sweetened with stevia. I just put a little bit of that in and then just add nuts and it's like a dessert. But I get like 25 grams of protein in, in the evening if I haven't met my criteria for the day. What is that syrup you're putting in there? What flavor is it? It is, I've got it. Let me get it. It's really healthy actually even though it's sugar-free. Uh-huh. Made with stevia is great. Yes, it is. It's Maple Farms. I thought I had some up here, but I don't. I'm out of it. But it's, um, they also make salad dressings. So you can buy them at the grocery store. I know Kroger there carries it. Uh-huh. But it's is it called Walden Maple Farms. Farms? Huh? Walden Farms? Walden Farms? Maybe it is Walden, but I was thinking it was, it might be Walden Farms, but it's sugar-free, but it's sweetened with stevia. Wow. Good. It's just, a, you know, like a teaspoon and just stir that in. It just gives it a little bit of sweetness. And then you have that like ice cream texture and it's very filling. That's good. That sounds good. It is very good. And I use yeah. the Oikos um, protein that has 25 grams per um three quarters of a cup, I believe it is. Mm, that's so good. Yeah. 25 grams. So good. So yeah. Yeah. Cause yogurt just tastes like yogurt. You know, sometimes I just, I'm just like, I just want yogurt to taste like ice cream. <laughs> yes. And that's what I do. That's what I found. And I crave it. It's like, wow, this is really good. And then I just do the, um, either walnuts or slivered almonds and stir that in. Good. I do the same, Rhonda. I like that. For the, if I have room for carbs, I, I put raspberries in there because for the fiber, Allie yes. turned me on to raspberries as a source of fiber and a half a cup of those and a packet of stevia. It's You're good to it, go, it, right? It, yeah, it, it does. It feels like a treat. It's so yummy. Mm -hmm. It is yummy. I crave it. That's like my mm -hmm. go-to at night if I haven't gotten my protein in. Yep. Me as well. How about you, Rona? You got some ideas? She's busy, busy. I'm multitasking. I see that. <laughs> um, so, well, tonight, okay, so my husband and I, we're going to go down to our boat. And so I'm just preparing some stuff to take down. So I have, uh, well, I haven't been shopping because I just got home from work from being away for four weeks. So, um, so yeah, so there was a, a watermelon and some cucumber and some light feta cheese in the fridge. So I made that with some herbs from the garden and squeeze a lemon for a salad. And then I've got some chicken breast here and I'm just going to season it. And that's going on the barbecue and that's dinner. Quick. Yeah. <laughs> so and then so this morning I had uh, a protein smoothie um, with a bit of pineapple and kale and um, what else? Apple, carrot, and then I, I to use two proteins. I use a whey protein and a collagen protein and chia. So that's sort of a, a morning smoothie, which is a lot of gusto uh, oh, yeah. when I'm at home. Yeah, and then for lunch, we had two hard boiled eggs and uh, actually we shared like a chia batta bun with some uh, sliced tomato and a little bit of uh, cheese. And yeah, and then this is for dinner tonight. So yeah, I think I'm not, I didn't count my calories today, but I, I suppose I'd go back and input it. Um, but yeah, I said, I'm just sort of taking it easy today. But with that in mind, like knowing I like, even though I'm not going to, I haven't actively counted or input my calories today, uh, I still think I'm staying within the guidelines, right? Of, right. Of, you know, and knowing sort of what, how many, what portion sizes are acceptable uh, to get the intake, right? So right. yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's something you really, you've been doing this for a while. That's something you become really familiar with you know, after a certain amount of time. So when you're first starting out, you want to weigh everything. You want to keep it up because I'll tell you though, I do get off. If I go very far, you know, even though I've done it for years, if I go very far, sometimes I get off and I think, oh, it's four ounces. And then I weigh it and I'm like, holy cow, it's like six ounces, like close to six ounces. <laughs> and so my four ounces just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So, you know, rein yourself back in. I do that too. 
Um, yeah. I'm gonna show you guys some crackers I got. So while I'm doing that, I know that I'm gonna call on everyone tonight. <laughs> so Virginia, do you care to share some of your, your tips? I'm gonna go grab these crackers real quick, okay? Would you, are you able to share some tips tonight? Um, let me think, what do I have? <laughs> you can come um, back, we can come back to you. Um, we, well, we, I don't plan. Um, we cook pretty simple. We like to eat chicken. We do a lot of, we cook on a grill cause it's so hot here in Texas right now. So we do a lot of cooking outside. So we'll do, eat a lot of chicken. We love to eat fish and shrimp, and you get a lot of protein in shrimp. Um, and usually our sides are just simple, just like steamed veggies. Um, that's normally what our sides are, is just like a steamed vegetable of some sort. Uh -huh. um, if I'm in a hurry because I've got to try to feed my daughter with us, our younger one, and well sometimes i'll do ground turkey or ground chicken and make like tacos and for my tacos i'll use the wraps the high fiber wraps um uh, and i'll try to cook more than for one meal and then the next day i might have a taco salad with it so i'll just put it on lettuce tomato and stuff and add a little bit of pecani sauce on it mm -hmm. It's good. Good tips. That sounds good. I forgot about taco salads. I don't know why I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, taco salads are so good. I, um, yesterday, we have one car. Wade and I gave our son the other car. And so we have one car and we're planning on getting a Jeep. I, I found a Jeep I love and Wade said, no, not till, it's not time yet. He's making me wait. So <laughs> wait until winter. Jeep's prices go down apparently in the winter. So anyway, so he says, no, no Jeep yet. So um, he dropped me off at the gym. I had, uh, I, I worked with a local client actually. She's a police officer and I was working with her in the gym and he had to come back and get me. Well, it took him longer than he thought. He had an eye appointment. And so I'm like over there, there's nothing to eat, but like a crystal. And you know, they have those little, little hamburgers. And I'm like, oh God, if I eat a crystal, it's, it's not going to be good. So I thought what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in this little convenience store next door. And well, it wasn't a convenience store. It's Ollie's. If you guys have ever been to Ollie's and there's like discount everything in there. So I don't believe in food with a lot of process, you know, that are really processed, but I was starving and I was like, oh my gosh, I am so hungry. I had a headache. And so I got me, I didn't plan well, as you see, and I went in there and they had protein crackers and those suckers are good. They are good. And I have like every now and then I'm like, if I could just have something crunchy. Well, I found the Quest protein chips. Holy cow. Don't buy a full size bag because I had to take them to wait and go take them away from me now. <laughs> So I have to buy, if I buy Quest chips, which I don't buy a lot of processed food, I will buy the individual serving bags and that's, they're pretty expensive. And that also helps me not to buy them. <laughs> but these I got at Ollie, they are pure protein, cheesy crackers. They had white cheddar and regular cheddar. These things are so crunchy and they have 160 calories. They have 12 grams of protein and I like them. And I was just like, so thankful I found them because I was so hungry and I had protein. I didn't feel guilty. And I just, I just ate them. And I was like, this was great. So I brought three bags home. <laughs> so yeah, so it was, it was cool. So that was my um, thing yesterday. So you can make it work, you know? All right. So we've got, who else on here? We've got Chris. Hey, Chris, you want to share some stuff? We'd love to hear from you. Hey. So I, I agree with the Greek yogurt. It's one of my quickest ways to get um, protein, especially like at the end of the day, if I'm kind of off balance with everything else and can't add a lot of fat or carbs, <clears throat> although I know you don't worry about that too much. But like tonight I stirred in some protein powder into my Greek yogurt because I had a lot of watermelon today. So my carbs were kind of high. <laughs> so 
I like stirring in the protein mix into the, you know, protein shake mix into the Greek yogurt. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing is like in the morning, I have that collagen coffee that you told us about a long time ago. And that's a good way to, I mean, it's only, I think 11 grams, but it still seems mm -hmm. to make a difference with the totals for the day when I do that consistently. And then not on the food side, but on the diet, I mean, on the uh, exercise side, and this is something that you and I talked about this week is like, I keep my workouts really simple. Like I do the same thing every Monday and every Tuesday, I like about five workouts that I just rotate for eight weeks before I change it again. And keeping it that simple kind of keeps me less intimidated at the gym because I'm familiar with the machines and I know what my weights are that I should be moving. And um, so that I think helps me keep my workout routine simple and consistent. Good job. Yeah. That is great. You know, mix up your routine by keeping the same routine, but sometimes you lift really heavy. About a third of the time you lift really heavy. About a third of the time you just rep it out. You go in there and just rep it out till you can't go lighter and rep it out. You know, a little lighter, rep it out until you just basically can't do another rep. And then sometimes go medium, you know, and just about a third of each is what they recommend. So sometimes you're medium, but then sometimes you're heavy, you know, so, but you can do the same workout over and over and over again. You know, you don't have to, people always come to me and say, well, should my workout change? Well, if it's working, no, if it's a great workout, it doesn't have to be complicated. It really doesn't. As long as you're getting those, we want to use all the muscles of the body. And as long as you're getting them in there, that's, that's what works. So great job bringing that up. Thank you, Chris. So who else I, I want to mention, I want to mention this. I found, I discovered this when I started your program because in the morning coffee just doesn't do it for me because it's so hot here. I don't mm -hmm. want to drink anything hot. So this is a product I found. It's high protein coffee. It's by wow. Tyke. And it's got 20 grams of protein. Wow. One gram, one gram of sugar. That's yeah. really good. Yeah, it's excellent. So that's how I start my day. Yeah, that's Rhonda, good. Can you, can you snap a picture of that and share it like in the... Um, yeah. In our... I'll, do, our I'll put it on Facebook. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I'll do that. And I, it comes in I different flavors. <laughs> So I know it's, I've done the caramel, have a, they have a salted caramel and I've got the peanut butter right now. And it's, both of them are really, really good. Wow. You know, if they make them in the K-cups for the Keurigs. I, I have no idea. This is powder. You put two scoops and I use just water. Sometimes I'll add just a little bit of milk just to make it a little creamier, but, <laughs> um, it's 130 calories for two scoops. God, I want that. <laughs> put it put in the Facebook group. That can, is, you, um, can you show it again, Rhonda? What's that? Can you do you have it there or did you show it? I missed it. Oh, okay. And and I wonder if they okay, I'm in Canada, so we have different products up here. But, <laughs> yeah, but I like, ordered it on Amazon. Oh, okay. And what was the brand? Trike, C H I K E. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm, you're welcome. Wow, cool. That's you need, great. Rhonda, you yeah. need an affiliate link because we're all ordering it now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. It's really yummy. Like, I get up in the morning, I look forward to it because it's yes. just tasty, you know? Do you have it over ice? Like, uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, like yeah, it's that. iced coffee. So yeah, it, it it and it's got two shots of espresso in it. Oh wow! We got in. Yeah, I um I I don't I I find that one of my barriers to working out in the morning is if I if I start thinking about it, it's not good. I need to not think. And so a long time ago, I made myself a deal that I wouldn't have to think about it. So I line up everything. I mean, everything that I need to wear down to my socks, the shoes, everything is ready to go. It's staged. My protein shaker has a scoop of protein in it. 
my backpack <laughs> is loaded. I've got my bands, my workout um, towel, a bottle of water loaded, like everything. I do not have to think, I kid you not, if I wake up and I feel half unconscious, it's okay. And that's actually exactly what I tell myself. It's okay. You don't have to think. And I put on my clothes and I pick up my bag and I go. And that's, that is, that's it. I, I just, I do so much better if I don't have to think before I go. It's good. That's I've smart. been, um, I've been doing the Caroline Gervan workouts when I'm at work and I download them. Um, and, and it's on YouTube because I've got the YouTube premium and, uh, and they're, they're half hour workouts and she's amazing. She's all these different programs. And even though it's half an hour, cause like, remember I'm ex triathlete. I used to work out for like 16 20 hours a week back in the day and so for 30 minutes a day and I'm literally after every workout I'm sore and so like usually starts Monday is legs and then it's upper body and then she does a glute hamstring focus and a full body and anyway amazing and they're short fast fierce good um and I love those uh, particularly when I'm at work because I, I've worked such long days I'm up at five in the morning I look at the workouts the night before before I go to bed because I need <laughs> to know what to expect I have my yeah I've got my workout gear ready to go got my water bottle clean and ready to go and so that's what I do in the morning is when I'm at work is I have my uh, protein shaker and uh and so I have my uh, whey protein and the BCAA in that and I kind of drink that as my morning breakfast and then I eventually get a coffee into me um yeah and then if I'm hungry I'll have like a bit of yogurt cottage cheese mixed with a bit of fruit and that's sort of like how I the first few hours of my day and that I find that really kind of gives me um like it's like satisfaction as far as like you know getting like good nutrition in and it just really starts my day off on a high protein um you know goal right and so and then it gets harder like particularly because I'm at work um but I work with the cooks and they know I want like a protein and unprocessed food and stuff so they try to accommodate me and I'm trying to ask them to weigh it for me so sometimes they do sometimes they don't but uh anyway yeah I mean I'm trying to manage it it's super tough but um I I did lose like a pound and a half the last four weeks, not a huge amount, but is there nothing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, chip, chip, chip. It, it's coming off. It's slower than I would have liked, but it is definitely going in the right direction. I think since I started the program, I'm down about 10 pounds now. So, um, you know, it's coming. So yeah. bit by bit. Well, if yeah. you guys don't know, Rona cannot control her diet on the ship. She just has to try to do her best. She is a ship captain and she just has to eat basically what they make. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> for she's on the cat on the ship for a month at a time. So it's not like she can just pack up some stuff and go to the ship that day. And she's yeah. there a month at a time. So yeah. yeah. So I do so, bring supplements and yeah, I bring protein powders and protein bars to supplements and that, that's a big help. Yes. A simple tip on building your own diet. Always start with protein first. So just think about your protein. What proteins am I going to have today? You know, people say, I want to build my diet. It's so hard and I can't do it. This one lady took hours and hours of a day to build this diet. And I was like, that's not going to last very long. She cannot continue to do that. So what you do is start with your protein. Start building what kind of protein you want. That's always first. And since we're very fiber focused, start secondly thinking about, okay, now that I got my protein in for the day, what I'm going to have for fiber. And you just put that in there. And once you got that in there, the rest of the day pretty much falls together really easy. Just fill your calories out. And if your carbs are a little high, that's okay. If your fats are a little high or a little low, that's okay. Just hit your, like we said, those five things. Calories, protein, fiber, water, and workouts. Okay? So if that's all we focus on, let's keep it really, really simple. All right? So that was my tip on that. Now, we need to probably go, but if somebody has something before, before we go, I want to hear it. Um, speak up now or forever. Hold your peace. <laughs> I do want to text you, Allie, and get in on one of those weightlifting groups. Yes, we're going to start those. Still haven't started them yet. But 
I mentioned the other day, sorry, I ate a cracker. Um, we are starting very, very, very small groups. Okay. And I don't care if they, if you leave the bod garage, I want you to still be able to be part of your group. They're going to be five women in each group. And these are for encouragement for ideas like this. These are for support from other women who are doing what you're doing. And if you want to, I, I'm, I want to start them on Facebook messenger where it doesn't blow up your phone all the time if you don't want it to. And that you guys can be there for each other. It's not something that I will monitor, but if you have any issues, I do want to hear from you. I'll go in and clean it up real quick. <laughs> We've never had any issues. How cool is that? We've never had any negative Nellies that I know of that, I mean, it's been an amazing, amazing journey with some amazing women. So if you want to be in those, I'm only taking people who want to be in them. I don't want anybody who doesn't want to be in a small group like that to join. Okay. So you guys have a great night. I'll be talking to you about those. Uh, the weightlifting thing is very much growing in our community here and it's a big deal. So we're going to have a large group of women in a weightlifting group. Also, if you do body weight work, body weight workouts, we're going to have you have your own group as well. It will be focused on workouts. All right. So whatever it is, let's do it. Let's get split up into those groups because it's going to be fun. We're really going to focus in those groups about our workouts. All right, guys. It's so wonderful talking to you guys. You guys have a great night, a great weekend. If I don't talk to you before then, check the Bod Garage monthly, the private page, because I'm going to tell you what I want you to text to me every single night. Instead of doing your online typing check-ins, just boom, 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 done. All right. All right, guys. Have a wonderful night. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.